If you find mixed fractions difficult, use your calculator. Hit shift and then the fraction button. So you see you get this mixed fraction thing here, right? And you're going to do five and two thirds. We're going to hit five and you're going to hit right. Or do you hit down? I don't know. Two, hit down. Or well, you figure it out. Five and two thirds and then you hit equals and you get 17 over three. I'm not, I've done anything clever. Okay. The way you actually do it is times those two together and then add that. So it's 15 plus two is 17. And then the bottom number stays the same. But if you knew that, great. If you didn't, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to get a mark for free. Then you just do the same with that one. You know, when you get into an exam and you're just like, oh, sometimes you just say like two times six is 10 or something. You just make a stupid mistake. You're trying to eradicate these things. So, so lean on your calculator as much as you can. 19 over five. It turns out you got a mark for writing those or even one of them. I think even one of them you got a mark. So again, three mark question. You're getting one mark just for doing literally nothing. Just know how your calculator works. If you had 28 over 15 and you want to know how to turn that back into a mixed number fraction, do you see above this S to D button is this pretty weird mixed fraction to fraction thing. So you, you want to hit shift and then that. You go shift and then that. Look at that. Look at that. Now you get marks for going both ways, depending on the question. So in this particular question, the calculator hack, oh, you, you only got it for that. But like there's loads of mixed number fractions where if you know how to go both ways on your calculator, go and get loads of marks for free on your, on your, on your GCSEs and thank me later.